Biggest favorite on the card today, no surprise, is the Dodgers hosting the Colorado Rockies. Minus 350. Total here is a nine. Give you that extra perspective. Five and a half team total for the Dodgers. A three on the Colorado Rockies today. It's not Walker Bueller. It's not even Tony Gonsolin. I mean, it's just it's White with the ball, right? Like, it's this isn't really who you would anticipate there, Mitch White being this level of, of a favorite. It's Jose Urena for Colorado today. How do you line this one up? Yeah, not a lot of innings here on the season for Jose Urania here, but going up against now Mookie Betts, everything changes, right? Mookie Betts get back in the lineup homers yesterday, and things are all good here, and we're back to a lot of green lights in here. So when we just take a look at what we anticipated from seeing from the Dodgers this year, how about this? Betts, Turner, Freeman, Smith, Muncie, Turner, Lamb, Bellinger, and Lux. We're basically full go once again for that lineup, and you're right. It's almost as if you take a look at the Dodgers at home and just say, do you have a guy that just has a left or a right-handed pitching arm that can throw a base ball and the Dodgers come up as market favorites it seems like day in and day out I don't put it past the Rockies you know to stay around or hang in it because again you're right you're not getting the top end of the rotation here for the Los Angeles Dodgers but I do think that the Dodgers will hit again tonight maybe a team total would be in order it's hard to take overs in Dodgers games out in Chavez Ravine because the Dodgers typically have good starting pitching and an even better bullpen but tonight I think we get some runs out of the Dodgers side Mm -hmm. so maybe we can look at something closer to a nine but usually when you're taking the Dodgers and you want to win some money, you just take them on the run line. When they win, they typically win by run line. Yeah, let, let, let's talk a little bit about a run line here for a second, though, right? One and a half is minus 164. <laughs> so let's think yeah. then, what does that mean? Yeah. The Rockies, Donnie, plus two and a half runs oh, is a go. very, very reasonable minus yep. 120. The first set they played in Colorado – the Dodgers would have not covered a two and a half run line in any of those games. Then they played another set, all you know, pretty recently in Colorado. Three games, only once would they have covered that run line. Now, they are obviously a little bit more dangerous back at home, but so far, two games in, they've covered that once, and another time they have not. Am I crazy to say again, you and I have talked a lot about the idea of a principal play. If I can get a yeah. team getting two and a half runs. <laughs> At minus 120, do you just have to take it with the Colorado Rockies? I mean, I guess, right? I mean, it's it's they can actually win the baseball. There's nothing illegal about them winning the baseball game tonight. So it's not <laughs> as if you're going to be down three to nothing after the first inning saying, ooh, glad I got those two and a half runs. But it's an interesting market. I really don't look that further down the line for two and a half runs. But if you give any baseball team, I'm going to give you basically just don't lose by three tonight where there's a chance that you can win. It sounds like a solid argument to make that probably you would win this more times than not, you would think, right? 